One popular treatment we use in our office is called shockwave therapy. Shockwave therapy sends a pressure wave into the tissue to help stimulate healing, increase the blood flow, and to help strengthen the tissue. It's often used to treat tendinopathies, tendinitis, tendinosis, these type of injuries that have developed chronically over years. Because the tendon has never healed correctly, that causes pain and irritation and weakness. Well, shockwave therapy is a great treatment option for these type of tendon injuries and can help clear them up completely. Now there's two different types of shockwave therapies. There's one which called radial shockwave, and there's another called focus shockwave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the differences between the two different types of shockwave, and I'm gonna show you when we would use one shockwave over the other and how they can be used in combination. So radial shockwave has a treatment head where there is a projectile inside the head. And what it does, it uses pressure to send that projectile to hit the treatment head, which in turn releases an acoustic sound wave into the tissue to help generate that pressure wave and to help stimulate the tissue repair. Now the radial shockwave is a great for more superficial injuries, more towards the skin, because it doesn't go as deep but it can also treat a broader area. So a lot of times we will use this on say the quadricep muscle to help loosen up any tension or tightness in that region and I'll work our way down to the actual tendons and then that's what sometimes we'll, we'll switch to a focus shockwave to get deeper into the tendon and to be more specific. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate the two different types of shockwave and then I'm gonna show you how I would use them in combination and the treatment differences between the two. So with shockwave therapy, there's two different treatment options. There is a radial treatment and then there's a focus shockwave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate what a radial shockwave looks like first. So this is what the handle, treatment handle looks like. There's basically a little projectile in here. And when I turn it on, it sends air pressure, which sends the projectile into the treatment tip and sends an acoustic sound wave into the injured area. What we're gonna do is we're gonna apply it onto her quadriceps. Say we're treating knee pain, she has like tendonitis in her knee. Um, I wanna clear out any muscle issues in her quadricep and any tightness up in this area. So how it's gonna work is I'm gonna apply some ultrasound gel up in the area I wanna treat. Okay, and now we're gonna turn it on and what it's gonna sound like is you're gonna hear the tapping sensation and that's basically us uh, applying that um, projectile over the area and it's causing the, the sound wave to go into tissue. You may see the muscles start to twitch a little bit and if you were to see this on slow motion, you would see it also kind of like creating a wave into the muscle. We're gonna turn this on and we're gonna start to work up and down the quad area. Now what the patient feels is like a, a deep ache in the treatment site. And if there's a problem spot, you may feel more of a deeper ache in that area. And then as we, as we loosen up that area, um, we'll go on to the next one. And so right now I'm just scanning to see where her problem spots are. And I've already palpated the area so I know where she's tight. And we're gonna focus in on that spot. So I'm gonna do about 3,000 impulses into this whole quadricep, working the different portions of the quad. So I'm gonna go up and down and find those tender spots and work it right through here. Now this is great treatment because it treats a broader area, where the other one I'm gonna show you treats a more real specific spot. Now you can hear how loud that is. That's the airway, that's the uh, compressed air sending that projectile in and creating that force there. Um, now again, this is great for a broader area, so we'll use, the, use this first, find any of those tender spots, and then I'm gonna go, specifically go in there with the focus shock wave and apply it on that one spot. Now again, the problem with this is you can't really use it over a really bony area. It's not very comfortable. And also it's very superficial, so if I wanted to get um, say 10 centimeters deep, I couldn't get that with this, and that's where I switched to the focused. But that's what it looks like for a general treatment for the quadricep, and again, we go up and down scanning the tissue and then working that spot and loosening it up. Now this is what the uh, focus shockwave head looks like. So 
basically it has a tip to it where the shock wave comes through and this again is a very narrow type of treatment spot so it's going more like pinpoint spots and what I'm going to do is when we get over a problem spot I'm going to hold it on that area until we go through the cycle of treatments there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Renee where that tender spot is so as I'm scanning it she'll say "Ooh, that's the spot and that's where I hold it now with this one um, it's a little bit different in terms of feeling. With this one, um, when we go over an area where there's not a problem, you're not gonna feel much. Whereas the other one, the radial, you will feel that general tapping up and down. And uh, with this one though, it's real specific. So you're not gonna feel much when we get over a normal tissue and then we go over the problem spot, it's gonna be like a deep, dull, intense ache right at that spot. But once I take the uh, treatment head off of it, it's gonna feel really comfortable and it's gonna feel looser. So how this is gonna work, again, we're gonna apply some ultrasound gel in the treatment spots. And I'm gonna show it both in the quad and then also in the knee, because a lot of times we use this specifically at the knee or at the foot or at the ankle. So we're gonna turn this on. You're also gonna see this a lot quieter than the other treatment. But it will go much deeper, so she'll feel like a deep, dull, intense discomfort. And then as I treat you over four to five weeks, it becomes less and less um, achy and then it go, goes away and heals up completely. All right, so Renee, as I'm scanning the tissue, I want you to let me know where you feel any of that deep, dull ache. Okay. So right there. Okay, now how does this one feel in comparison to the radial? Uh, the radio one felt like uh, kind of like broader achiness in my quad. This one, I feel it deeper and it's almost extending down into the knee a little bit. Definitely a deeper ache. And it w is one more uncomfortable than the other, would you say? I would say that this one feels a little bit more uncomfortable just because it feels so deep. Okay, yeah, and a lot of times patients will also say the other one, the radial one, because it's almost like a pounding on the skin, it feels a little bit uncomfortable in that sense, but it doesn't feel as deep. Whereas this one, you're not gonna feel as much when we get over the other areas, you're not gonna feel that pounding sensation, but it's, it's such a deep impulse that you will feel like a deep dull ache, and sometimes it will refer to the other areas. So like she was saying, I'm treating this one spot in the quad, but she's feeling some of the achiness in the knee. And that's why sometimes people that deal with knee pain, it could be coming from the quadricep. And that's why we wanna clear out any of the tightness in the muscle here, and that will help to uh, relieve a lot of the knee pain. And you can see I'm holding it in one spot because again, it's just very targeted. So once we find that tender spot, then we're gonna um, treat that specific spot and then check out any other areas that are really tender. But this is great because it's diagnostic in nature too, because when we go to over normal muscle, you won't feel much. Then we get over the problem spot, we feel like, ooh, that's the pinpoint spot that is causing us. So that's what Focus Shockwave looks and feels like in that treatment area there. Again, a lot of times we use this on the actual bony areas such as the knee, uh, the patellar tendon, Achilles tendon, plantar fasciitis, also elbow tendonitis, and shoulder pain as well. Where we can't typically apply the radial one, we will use the Focus Shockwave in that area. One condition we use shockwave therapy a lot is on a frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder is when the shoulder capsule becomes very tight and rigid. And what will happen is that will limit her ability to move her arm out to the side. And what she'll do is she'll start to compensate. So she'll start to lean this way because she can't get her arm up. It'll also limit rotation in forward flexion and then also into, we call this external rotation. So it'd be tough to reach behind your back and get to like a bra strap or get into your pocket like that. Um, and what we need to do is we need to loosen up that shoulder capsule. The problem with that is it's tough to do a lot of hands-on work where we want to go through some range of motion because the patient can't move that. We have some patients that come in, they can't even move their arm to here. Okay, so it's severely limiting. One way we use the shock wave is to get in there to break up any of that adhesions and those tightness in the shoulder capsule. And it's a really effective treatment at loosening up frozen shoulder. So what the treatment's gonna look like is we're gonna apply some ultrasound gel over the uh, shoulder joint. And so we're gonna apply some here in the front and in the back. 
And again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of scan the tissue for any of these tender spots. So if someone with a frozen shoulder is typically gonna feel a lot of discomfort right at, around the top of the joint, almost like a crescent shape around the shoulder joint. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just do a scan first to see where she's tight. And I'm gonna start in the back side here and see a lot of times this area will be really sensitive on people that are dealing with frozen shoulder. Mm -hmm. And that's a that's deep spot there. And then we're gonna rotate out to the side. Now she doesn't have frozen shoulder, so it's not gonna feel as um, pinpoint and as a, intense, but a lot of times for a lot of rotator cuff injuries, this can be useful. If you have any kind of um, partial rotator cuff tears, we use this on it as well. Um, it can help to stimulate that healing process and help to regenerate the tissue. And again, right through here, so we're coming right off the bone and you can feel a lot of achiness when we get over the problem spot. And even into the deltoid, a lot of times, people that have frozen shoulder, they'll have a lot of um, soreness all the way down into their, their lateral part of their shoulder and that's because that muscle is working extra hard But the focus shock wave works really well in this area because it's really pinpoint and can get very deep inside the joint to get to that shoulder capsule. And again, what I would do with a typical case is we would find those tender spots and hold it on that spot and then move on to the next section. And we'll work all the way around that joint when we're finished treating a patient, patients will already notice a range of motion improvement and they'll have a reduction in pain and it works really well. And again, we can apply this through the backside, the side or in the front and obviously on top. I also will sometimes treat the trapezius muscle up here because when you're compensating and you're leaning your body, you start to recruit your neck muscles and that causes neck pain when you're dealing with a frozen shoulder. And again, between the radial um, shockwave and the focused, I typically just use the focused when we're dealing with any kind of frozen shoulders. To schedule a shockwave treatment, give my office call at 703-912-7822 or you can schedule online at novacarewellness.com.